Why does the maximum possible throughput of a dosing unit often have to be larger than the stated material consumption of an injection molding machine? Injection molding machines operate cyclically. A cycle consists of multiple phases. Closing the tool, screw back, injection, after pressure and so on. However, the raw material is only fed into the machine during screw back time. When we speak of material throughput, we usually mean material consumption per hour. If synchronous dosing units with free intake are in operation, this needs to be considered when the system is designed. A quick reminder, synchronous dosing units with gravity feeding of the main component are only in operation during the screwback time of the machine. The machine will signal when screwback starts and the main component starts flowing. Then the additive is dosed synchronously at the set percentage. Mo has connected a container to a tab. With this experiment, he is simulating an injection molding machine. When the tap is turned on, the measuring container fills up. This replicates the start of material intake during the screw back process. As soon as a litre of water is in the container, he turns off the tab. This replicates the end of the screwback process. Then he empties the container. He repeats this process 10 times. While doing so, he notes down the time and water consumption. It took 3 minutes to fill a litre 10 times. This calculates to a throughput of 3.3 litres a minute. Then he repeats the experiment with a throughput measurer. This shows the throughput while filling the container. The display shows a much higher throughput than just now. It's very similar with the injection molding machine. The current throughput, when material is fed during the screwback phase, is significantly higher than the calculated material consumption an hour. In order to calculate the necessary throughput of a dosing machine, the following things must be considered. The shot weight of the machine, the screwback time of the machine, and the percentage of additive to be dosed. The required throughput of the dosing system can then be calculated like this. 3,600 seconds divided by the screwback time in seconds times the shot weight. Very important, now the throughput of the additive needing to be dosed can be calculated. Only then can the throughput of the dosing station for the additive be determined. This is calculated by multiplying the entire throughput during intake with the additive percentage. This is the dosing rate that the dosing unit must have. 5% of this is the dosing rate the dosing station must have for the additive, so 6,000 grams an hour times 5 divided by 100 equals 300 grams an hour. What general things need to be kept in mind for the shot weight? Dosing devices have the task of dosing the respective recipe components. For synchronous dosing processes, they always run synchronously, as the name implies, to the intake of the processing machine. Now it's important that the dimensions of the dosing devices are chosen so that the dosing device passes on the material flow synchronously and consistently during the available intake time. This means the size of the dosing device is crucial for output capacity. For example, if a screw is too large for a smaller throughput, it will run too slowly, resulting in a pulsating discharge of material and the dosing consistency suffers. On the other hand, of course, it's important that the dosing rate of the dosing device is large enough to ensure that the entire dosing amount is made available during the available intake time. The throughput for the injection molding process is determined using the cycle time and the shot weight. However, the cycle time consists of various smaller procedural times and the dosing unit operates only during the screwback time, that is the actual material intake time. 
This means that the dosing unit needs to have a higher current throughput rate than the injection molding machine. For example, the injection molding machine has a throughput of 100 kg an hour, but only half of the cycle time will be available. So, for this shortened time, about half shorter, the throughput of the dosing device has to be double the standard hourly throughput of the processing machine. Mo's favorite drink is apple juice. He drinks 0.75 liters in about three hours. He has a throughput of a quarter liter an hour. Thinking is thirsty work. So Mo pours a large glass of apple juice and gulps all of it down. 10 seconds for half a liter. That's 180 liters an hour. Luckily, that is only his current throughput.